going to do that one next. You want to take out the soil, just put it on the ground, like right there, then we can shovel it back into the, the barrel. What about if I just put a, do we have a, like a mat? Tarp? Tarp, that's better. Yeah. We get charged. We try to help James to do our new gardening for 2020. Hopefully it will be success. Is it for the people of Honduras? You guys can do it too. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do it. I'm gonna use something we already have at home. Just putting this on the ground so we can get the soil out of this bin or out of this old planter because it's all topsoil and it's pretty loamy. Mix it in with some, some good fertilizer and some good soil. I do it. The peanut in here. Shovel some out when you're done there. I'm going to change this angle. Pause till we get further along. Okay, sorry for all the noise and whatever. We're not doing this in a professional studio. It's outside. It's windy. Over here we got some old loamy soil from our bins. It does have some sand in it. We're gonna add in. Uh, can I have that shovel, please? Where's the little shovel? Oh, right there. Um, this is the cocoa core that get in the frame. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's cocoa core. It's pure 
uh, coconut husk. It's already wet. I've expanded it. One five kilo block fills this whole tote. So we're gonna put in a couple good scoops of this. I use this for my microgreens as well. I don't want to put it all of it in there. Just a couple good six scoops. We have more. We got another pile of soil, which you can see on the ground. I also got some keep it free of bugs. I got some potting mix. Miracle Grow. It has some stuff in it. We don't live by a farm where we can get a pallet of um I gotta sharpen this thing. Dull knife is dangerous. Spider Co. Kuchi. This has got real light, has some vermiculite in it, I see some wood materials in it. What about half the bag in here? Over here, this is supposed to be some Pro Mix. Never used it. Let's see what it looks like. It's really tight in here, so I'm going to lose some. Let's see if we can avoid losing some. Wow, that's like. That looks like. Cocoa pour and vermiculite. See here? It's like cocoa pour, vermiculite, and potting soil. <laughs> Looks pretty much the same. You know what? Let me, uh, the wheelbarrow. Uh, closer. Well, good to know. That's what this is. I don't know if I'd use this for microgreens, but it'd probably work. We could try it. When we run out of cocoa core, it won't be for a while. Okay. I think that's good for that, right? Yeah, well, I got this. You want to get the vermiculite? I know people in Honduras are watching this. We are, you can, you don't need to use this fancy soil. You already have the best soil on the planet. But we're going to show you how to plant cheaper if you live in the city. All things we learned from smart people like Arms Family Homestead, um, Oh my goodness, I'm going to forget all the names. I'll put them in the, on the screen later. Gardening with... Go watch Arms Family Homestead. He'll link you to all the other people. But I'll also add links to where I watch the ideas. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to add some vermiculite also. That one, just bring it over and we'll... This one? No, just the vermiculite in your hand there. Oh, this one's so lightweight. This is also going to add some air in. And the air is... For air pruning. Okay. 
Make sure we're still rolling. Still rolling. I know this is the boring part, so I'll make long and short versions or I'll put timestamps so you guys can jump around. Links. Uh, later in the fertilizer process. You gotta mix this up. You wanna pull from that side with the hoe? You stand down there and pull that way. change the viewpoint or yeah okay hang on let me we're gonna switch viewpoints and move to the buckets 